Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my High Tech Hut logo reveal template. Before we get started in After Effects I quickly want to point out that there are actually two different versions included in this template. When you download the High Tech Hut logo folder and you unzip it, you will see that you have two different After Effects projects included. The first one is the High Tech Hard Logo Reveal 4K version. That means that this is in a resolution of 4K uh, Ultra HD and the second one is the standard Full HD version. So whatever resolution you want to use, uh, choose the according project. One more hint before you open up the After Effects project, I recommend that you enter the links folder here and that you download and install the Capsule X Pro Medium font. You can follow this link and can download this font for free. Then you can use the same font that I used in this template and in the preview video. If you want to use another font, it's of course possible. You do not have to use the font that I used here. Now let's jump right into After Effects. When you open up one of these projects, both uh, should look exactly the same and the customization is of course also exactly the same. So you see you should have four compositions already open and this is the logo composition, the hot setup composition, uh, the audio composition and the render composition, which is the most important one and the one that you want to render out in the end. If these compositions are not open already in the timeline, you can find them in your project window up here and you can open them up by just double clicking on the compositions. The first step in the customization process is to import a new logo. Therefore, you can go to the logo composition and you see right now there is only a placeholder in here, which is a text layer. So you can of course also use this template with a title. You do not need a logo. Now let's go to file and let's import a file. In my case, I will import my Graphic in Motion logo and I will drag it into my logo composition. So let's zoom out of it to see what's happening here. First of all, I want to disable or delete the placeholder text layer. And now you see that my logo is quite big. So if I go to the render composition now and if I choose a frame right in the middle here somewhere, you see that my logo is quite big. And if I scroll to the end of the animation at around 250 frames, then you see that the logo fills up quite a bit of the screen, so it's way too big. So if you use a square or a round logo, I would recommend that you scale it down quite a bit. So let's see how far we can scale it down. I think in my case, something like around 70 would be nice. Let's check the result here in the end. And I think this is pretty good. Okay, so let's say I'm satisfied with the size of my logo. If you have a square logo or a title, then I would recommend to scale it to about this line here of the title action safe area. You can scale it up a little bit in between these lines, but I would not exceed the outer line here because then the titles get a little bit too big. So orientate yourself around here between these two lines here. I will turn this off again and turn my logo back on again. And now I can move to the second step and customize my heart. There you can go into the heart setup composition. In the heart setup composition right now we cannot see much because the time marker is right here in the end of the animation. So make sure that your time marker is around, don't know, somewhere in the beginning here, it doesn't really matter. Now you see what we have here you have the hut in front of you, uh, in the front view. Now you can change a few things. First of all, you can change the color setup. To change the color setup of this hut, you can simply choose the color setup layer. And in your effect controls panel, you can find all these different color controls to change the colors. For example, if I want to change the look here quite dramatically, I could just come in here and change the numbers color from this red to something like, I don't know, let's make it like golden yellow color here and click OK. 
Now I could take over this color for my energy circle color, for example. So it will just replace all the red ones here and now with yellow. And you see immediately that the look is dramatically changed. So if I go to my render composition now to check the result, you see that this also looks quite good. And you can, of course, change all these colors here and yeah, create your complete new or individual color setup. One color control that I want to mention is the logo color. If you take a look at our animation, in the end, the logo is being revealed. Or first of all, it's kind of a tinted version of the logo, and then the original colors of the logo are revealing above it. So you can change the color of the logo during the animation using these two color controls. So the first one is tinting the bright values or the white values and the second color is controlling the tint of the darker values. So in my case you see I use this bright blue and then a very very dark blue for the darker region. So you can change this here too. So let's say maybe I want to take the same yellow here and I could simply go here in here and take it with the eyedropper tool and now my logo has the same color as these elements here. The next step in the customization process would be to change the titles. Let's change the resolution here from half to full so that we can see what we are doing. We have two options to import titles into this template. The first option is this circular title here that is visible during the buildup. And this is more a design element than a real title that the, the viewer will be able to read. You know, you can enter a few keywords or you can enter your web address or whatever. So to change the text here, simply select the circular title layer. You can also solo it by hitting this small circle here and then you can double click and can start entering your title, keywords, whatever. And this is how you can fill the circle. I will undo this for now and stay with these example keywords. If you do not want this to be visible, you can of course also just turn it off. And if you turn off the circular title layer right here, then it will also be gone in our animation, of course. Okay, so let's move on. The second title that you can edit is the subtitle of your logo. Therefore, I select my selection tool again, select my text layer, and now I can also double click here and enter my title. I will leave this for now. You see that on this layer we have this marker telling us to edit the title after this marker because in front of this marker it's simply not 100% revealed, so you will not be able to see what you are doing. So make sure that your time marker, your cursor is behind this marker. The same applies for our circular title, by the way. There is also a marker on it, which indicates at what moment in time this title is fully revealed on screen. If you want to do further customizations on your HUD, you can of course do that. If you press this little button here, which is the hide all layers button, then you'll see that in this hot setup composition, a lot of layers are hidden. Now all the elements of our heart are visible in the composition. I will make a little bit more room here that we can see this a little bit better. You see that the elements are always colored in the same color. So most of our elements uh, have three layers, at least three layers. Some have even more like our small middle circle here and like our logo pre-comps here. But if you want to change the look of the heart, maybe you want to make it a little bit cleaner, like I made it in the second uh, customization example in the preview video, then you could just turn off a few of these elements here. So for example, let's say you do not want to have all these middle 
small circles here, then you can select all the layers and turn them off. And you will see that now our elements here in the middle will disappear. Now, maybe you also do not want to have this ruler here, you know, then you can move down in the composition and search for the ruler. And here we have the big outer ruler. I really tried to name all these elements uh, according to what you see on screen. I don't know whether I was fully successful, but you can play around and turn on and turn off layers and see what they control. So the big outer ruler is this big outer ruler. Yeah. So let's turn this off and you see it's gone. And we could also turn off one more ruler. Maybe let's say I want this slice ruler here. So this is the ruler that only consists of this, this slice here. It's not fully a full circle. It's only this part. I can turn this one off too. And yeah, maybe I like this cleaner heart better. And now I can go to my render composition and take a look how this looks like. And I think despite of this really awful color setup that I created, it looks quite good. Okay, so when you are satisfied with your hard colors, which I am not, but I will not spend any more time to change these colors here. You can do this on your own then. Then you can go to the next step of the customization and that would be to import your audio. You can import your audio to the audio composition. If you want to use the same audio as I used in the preview video, then you can of course take a look at the links folder and you will find a link that will lead you to the glitch logo sound by Sonic Sphere on Audio Jungle. When you downloaded your audio, you can simply import the audio file. And drag the audio file into your audio composition and make sure that the layer starts at frame zero. Now you can move to the render composition and in the render composition we have a few more options to change the look of our uh, animation a little bit. So first of all, let's scroll up here. You have two different controls here. The first one is called the background color setup. If we choose this layer, you see that in the effect controls panel we have four different color controls. The first two colors are controlling the look of these light streaks that you see in the background in each scene. So if we change this here, maybe to something like, I don't know, pink or whatever, then you see that this streak here is changing, or maybe I take over this very, very ugly yellow here, but just for, oh, which doesn't even work now. So let's do it like this, just as an example to make this really look horrible, yeah, like so. You can of course also change the second light color to something even worse, maybe green or something like that, okay. And then you could also change the background ramp color. There is a simple ramp in the background here. So uh, if I change one of these colors, it will be more obvious what this one does. So you see in the left corner down here, there is the, the second color. And in the right corner up here, this is controlled by the background ramp color number one. So you can really create something very, very crazy if you want. I will undo these steps because this is really too much. And a second version to change the overall look of this template is to use the color correction layer right here. And on this color correction layer, there is a simple curves effect applied. So you see if you, un or if you turn this off for a moment, you see that this is just adding a little bit of contrast and it also changes the look a little bit. So if we take a look at the green layer here, you will see that the green is a little bit increased. So if you want to have a neutral look, you can just go into the green layer and simply reset this value here. Then you will have more or less the original colors and this curves effect will only increase the contrast of our animation a little bit. But you can of course also come in here and start playing around with the different color channels and create your own look. Okay, so this is it with the customization of my template. So I hope that you like this template, that you create some really cool intro animations with it. 
Thank you very much for watching. I want to invite you to visit my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. There you can find all of my After Effects templates, some free tutorials, some free projects, uh, texture packs, and so on. So visit my website. Thanks again for watching, and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.